This today is August 25th, uh, which is the fourth anniversary of Harvey. Uh, so four years ago today, uh, Hurricane Harvey landed on the shores of Texas, dumping over 52 inches of rain upon our city and region. Hurricane Harvey was a defining moment for Houston, and we are building forward in the right way for a strong and more resilient city that is prepared to withstand the challenges of the future. To do it right, and it takes precision. And to do it right, it takes partnerships, and to do it right, it takes thoughtfulness. And as we navigate the challenges that our region continues to face, from hurricanes to winter storms to health crises, uh, we haven't stood still. Uh, despite complicated and bureaucratic processes involving extensive reviews, procurement rules, acquisition delays, and environmental regulations, the city continues to move forward with our partners and our own resources. Um, are we safer today than we were four years ago? I think the answer is yes. In four years, we have invested $780 million in infrastructure repairs from local funding uh, for fully completed projects, 42 capital improvement projects, and an additional nine that are in construction, totaling $501 million in total investments in drainage, 124 local drainage projects, totaling over $21 million by the end of the fiscal year. An additional 40 projects will be completed. These are projects, these projects are less than $3 million in cost and are usually delivered at a faster pace. Uh, 124 SWAT, SWAT projects have been constructed, totaling $34.7 million. An additional 18 are in construction or in design to be completed by the end of this fiscal year bringing the total number of projects to over 142. Six large-scale TERS interagency projects have been completed, exceeding $33 million, and three more are in construction, adding over $76 million in investments for drainage infrastructure. Ten properties have been acquired for detention at a cost of $70.5 million, and that also includes this item that is on the agenda for today, and resulting in 357.6 acres of added detention. That's 357.6 acres of added detention. $120 million combination funding of federal and state funds resulted in dredging of 3 million cubic yards of sand sediment from the West Fork of the San Jacinto River and Lake Houston. The city is also protecting housing investments through individual home mitigation strategies, utilizing the FEMA Flood Mitigation Assistance Program. $66.1 million to elevate over 260 homes since Harvey, and many more homes are in the planning stages for future funding. And we continue to invest in our nature-based infrastructure for a holistic and integrated drainage system. 30 green stormwater infrastructure projects were implemented in 2020, and with the launch of three out of the four incentives for green development, we expect this number to increase every year as we combat flooding at every scale. To continue to be protected, we must ensure we develop policies that enable us to be prepared for the future. Since Hurricane Harvey, uh, those policies include updating Chapter 19 regulations to build higher, adopting new rainfall data and new detention rates as a result of NOAA, Atlas 14 increased precipitation estimates, and strengthening and establishing our international relationships to collaborate on water-related challenges. And knowing that cities, all, uh, coffers cannot fund all of the needed projects, we continue to seek and have received funding for $57 million in direct allocation for local infrastructure projects from CDBG mitigation grant funding, $300 million from FEMA hazard mitigation grant funds for regional detention and flood damage reduction projects like Inwood, Lake Houston Dam, the North Canal, TER 17. All of those projects were in design um, and moving forward. And then $50 million in state grant funds for additional dredging of Lake Houston, $32 million in state subsidized loans and grants for two flood damage reduction projects, and $23 million in CDBG DRA funds for infrastructure planning recovery and resilient projects. 
the recovery office will be presenting a four-year anniversary report to city council in the coming weeks, which will include a comprehensive review, overview of recovery, hazard mitigation, and housing. In four years, we have made investments in our infrastructure. We have strengthened partnerships. We have released the Resilient Houston and Climate Action Plan to better prepare and mitigate with a focus on equity in our complete communities to ensure that the most vulnerable are at the center. And then finally, I recognize the importance of infrastructure and the valuable role engineering plays in climate adaptation. And I am in support of the ASCE and Stimson Center Declaration for Climate Resilient and Sustainable Infrastructure. It calls for making climate resilience a priority, avoiding climate-related disasters that harm the lives of the most vulnerable, like Harvey, advancing innovation in infrastructure projects, and achieving our climate goals. Houston is not alone in its vulnerability to climate disasters. As chair of the Resilient Cities Network, climate mayors, and the African American Mayors Association, I know that mayors have a special responsibility to better prepare our communities and enable them to build back better when disasters strike. And we need to set a much higher bar for our infrastructure. Houston is a city moving forward. Uh, we are a city of doers, and we move forward, we build forward, and we will continue to do so. And I look forward to working with each and every one of you as we continue to make the city even put it in a better position to mitigate the risk of flooding. I want to thank uh, 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 Steve Costello. I want to thank Carol Haddock, uh, Laura Pacino, uh, quite frankly, the entire team. Uh, and a lot of people have been involved. Marissa Aho, even though she's no longer with us. So many who have come together uh, to move the city forward. So, uh, Steve, thank you so very much. Carol, let me thank let me thank them as well.